Hello, this is the Art Life video blog, day 34. My name is Jacob Wolf, and I'm Christopher Hoisington, and we're here with Michael Patrick, a uh, phenomenal painter. And, yeah. Uh, he is quite, quite <laughs> impressive. <laughs> so it's like you got something to say. I, I mean... <laughs> Anyway, I'm excited um, about this is the Art Life <laughs> video blog. The Art Life video blog. Remember that name and uh, subscribe to us, please, and Follow like us, us and like uh, us, share, share us with us. all your friends. Love us. Anyway, so Michael, uh, Mike, you like Mike, Mikey? How do it you does. like to be called? Uh, either one of them. I'm fine with Mike. Michael doesn't matter to me. You know? Okay, so Mike, um, when did you start your artistic career? In uh, <laughs> 1999, in college. A friend gave me some tubes of paint. It was like black and like three acrylic paint. Yeah, crappy beginners acrylic yeah. paint. Uh -huh. And I, just, I was on most of my experiences yeah. with it. Yeah, <laughs> I started <laughs> free paint. You yeah, know. right. Yeah, so I was like, oh, this is fun. So I like paint my dreams and stuff on paper, and I yeah. thought it was pretty awesome, but it was pretty crappy. It kind of a lot of it looked like Beavis and Butthead stuff, and yeah. people were just look, kind of looking at me like. Okay. Well, painting your dreams, is, I mean, you've always, I mean, your stuff is surreal. Right. And it seems like that was like where you started was yeah. the surreal. That's yes. what intrigued you about it? Yep, yeah, pretty much. And <clears throat> so, yeah, I started in 1999. I went to school for packaging. Then I got a secondary degree in graphic design. So graphic design kind of helped channel that. I had that bent, that visual bent, but I got to make a living. And that's also helped me with... Uh, incorporating some design elements into my art with print media or collage work or just I mean it kind of flows into that whole narrative right um so yeah 1999 then um I uh I moved out to Walla Walla Washington in 2003 for my first job out of school uh -huh. so I did pastels some stuff here and there right. um then I moved to Portland in 2006 and I took classes at PNCA PCC and it just Classes here and there, printmaking, drawing, abstract painting. And so it just kind of opened me up. And that was all on the side yeah. while you were still working yep. as a uh, packaging graphic artist. Yeah. And graphic arts is very painterly as well. And right. It's, it's a very creative outlet, Where do you work now? Outlet, right? uh, <coughs> a, company, uh, a company called Northwest Paper Box on Swan Island. It's a family business. So right now I do packaging design. And so I've done packaging, graphic design. My first job out of school is graphic design. So I like design artwork for boxes. It come off the by the pallet load. You know, I do some of the stuff by hand. So I mean, it, it's it was pretty cool. But Sorry. Um, I kind of I mean, I kind of like to try and get a better shot of mine. So see, I'm a creative person basically. I mean, all around. My present style that I think is really hitting it was uh, an abstract painting class I took at PCC. There's some Russian lady that exposed me to like drip painting. Yeah. And so I just went with that and people really liked that style. So I kind of experimented from 99 to 2009, which is different stuff. I was bouncing around and I stumbled on this abstract painting and it just kind of opened me up. It forced me to loosen up and work big and quick. Because mm -hmm. as a designer, everything's exact placement and you just total control and this freed me up and loosened me up. Now when when did this class, the the drip class, happen? Winter of two thousand nine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you've been doing this for about two thousand two. Uh, five years now. Me? Did I, I miss it? No, I just <laughs> give me a years? hard time. No. Five years, man. That's been. I just can't believe it's been five years already. I know it goes pretty quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. So um, let's talk about this stuff back here, okay. if we can. <coughs> And Christopher, I was taking notes. It's not like it's not really fair. That's the only reason I remember anything is I take notes. Oh, anyway. Okay, so here are some um, these. I I developed these during a printmaking class. These are copper plate etchings of some uh, collages I <coughs> I did. And uh, yeah, this is a dream I had about a wolf back in the day that was really weird and really intense. So I made a collage out of it. When you say copper plate etching, how like how do you start the process of that? That way, well, I have a piece of copper and there's a lot of ways to etch copper with acid baths or with uh, a tool doing it by hand. A lot of, uh, 
it was a class I took and it was there's a lot that goes into it. It's a pretty toxic process. It was cool. Now in order to get the colors, is that part of a chemical process on the on the copper or is that how do you These, get the colors on This there? is just a printout of the collage. Okay, that so I you added the digitally. colors digitally. So this here, these are watercolors. Okay. That basically this here are, are, is this image, but I put watercolors on top of it after okay. I printed it. Right, just right, to right, see right. what would happen. And all of these images came from yeah. this one over here by the door. Yeah. I don't know if anybody can see that, but oh. yeah, that's so a, uh, it kind of really informs what you're looking at over here when you right. see the original. Yeah, that's a four color process screen print, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Yeah. So I uh, ripped it to film at my work. And uh, so, I mean, I knew how, I know how to do pre-press work. So that helped me to develop the screens for this. And I, you, like I, try and use it whatever's at my job to help me out, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, <coughs> and this one back here is really interesting, and I think you did, did uh, kind of the same process yeah. that you did this over there. This is a four color process screen print of a collage I did. Cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Oh, yeah, so, that, that was like, what? oh wait, I think I did that. Okay. This is, uh, this here is a uh, another copper plate I've seen that I, Lay watercolor on. So, do you take the copper plate etching and use that like to do like stamps or? Uh, once you have the copper plate etched, you can get probably what a hundred good prints off it or something. You know, it kind of depends. But you run it through a press, you ink it up, and so I mean, I've got the plates where I could do more prints, but. It's a big deal. It's, it's very messy and just like, you know, that's really, something. Really, they only last about 100 prints, though? I don't, I'm just kind of guessing. Like they, they, just, they last a lot longer than that. I'm kind of guessing. Yeah. So, I actually, I think it just depends on each plate and how hard you hit it. Yeah. And stuff. No, I and, did a little bit of it. I took a class out of PCC and we did mm -hmm. some of the, I don't, I don't think it was copper plate, but we did some um, different kind of etching. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, if you want to move to the bathroom. <laughs> There's a, here's another piece. You know, these are cop, piece. copper plate etchings as well. Oh, those are really nice. And how how long does the process uh, <coughs> take to go from idea to finished framed product? Uh, it can. Uh, hmm. That just depends how hard you work at it. I. Uh, It's time consuming. <laughs> yeah. But you know, all this stuff is pretty time consuming. What do you think? You ready to move out to the garage? <laughs> was there there's a piece or oh, two yeah. in here that you wanted to show yeah. off? There's um here's a uh drawing I did of a skull. Uh, I I took a drawing class. I think we're getting it. That's that's really cool. Do you do a lot of stuff like this? No, that was just a drawing class I took that I was like, hey man, I want to do something really cool. And then uh, that then I took a printmaking class. This is a screen print of that. All right. Wow. And at a print shop, I was like, hey man, I want to print this skull out, and it's on a mirror as well. <laughs> well, that's cool. Can you see that? I don't know if the yeah. Uh, it might be kind of hard to come do, do you want to lift it up a little bit? There we go. That's fucking cool. <laughs> Very awesome. And there's only one of these in existence, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Then this is a. Uh, that's a pen. I don't like that painting. That's why it's in here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we, won't, we won't show it. So now, I believe we are going to show you what he is currently working on. Dude, I just, I, I want to say, check this out again. This is really cool. It is really cool. You and how many, do you, like, can you print these? Yeah, these are four different, uh, consider them screens that... Yeah, I mean, I you have to do a lot of prints to get these to all line up because if they're out of register a bit, it looks like crap. So I got a bunch of these prints that I kind of screwed up 
This is the best one in my opinion. Okay. So that's why I framed it. Huh. So you might go through like 20 of them that suck. Because you got to mm -hmm. lay them perfectly on top of one another, the colors. Because the images are complicated, right, right, you know? Right, right. So, I mean, I know about printing. And so I was able to pull this off. But it was, that's a complicated screen print. It's very cool. I mean, we think screen printing, you think usually like simple block stuff. Now, after listening to him talk about that, let's go out in the garage and see what he's working on now because it's nothing like what we're talking about. The stuff's really cool. The stuff that we're about to check out is really cool. I love it all. It's really great. Holy crap, what's up here? Oh, that's just stuff I bought from Spain. Okay, cool. I'm from Spain originally. All right, check that out. All of this stuff is uh, viewable on his website as well, which is michaelpatrickpdx.com. michaelpatrickpdx.com. Michael These are all very, <laughs> very vibrant. 